In the 1920s, there was a rise of Chinese nationalism in Singapore, particularly among working-class Hainanese. As a result, on March 12, 1927, there was a clash between the police and supporters of the Kuomintang, at that time the main nationalist party in China. It was the second death anniversary of Sun Yat-sen, the great Chinese revolutionary who successfully toppled the Qing dynasty and established the Republic of China. Mr. Emery read the governor's reports on the disturbance in Singapore on the occasion of the celebration of the death of Sun Yat-sen. Seven Chinese killed and 11 were wounded. About 20,000 Chinese, as well as a few Teochews and Hokkien's, filed past Sun Yat-sen's portrait at Happy Valley Amusement Park to commemorate his death. It started off very orderly. However, a group of 2,000 Hainanese arrived and began to give leftist revolutionary speeches to an unsuspecting crowd. And that's when the crowd started to get agitated. In fact, when a policeman attempted to handcuff one of those in the crowd, he was assaulted. The crowd started to stream out of the park and began marching with Kuomintang banners towards South Bridge Road. Suddenly, a trolley bus drove into the crowd. And that was when the procession turned violent. As the bus drove towards Crater Eye Police Station, the angry crowd followed the vehicle, attacking it. When the bus finally reached Crater Eye Police Station, Kuomintang supporters clashed with the police officers. Four Indian constables attempted to settle the increasingly angry crowd using batons and bayonets to ward off the masses. Finally, they fired warning shots into the air before engaging directly with the mob. Six died and 14 were injured that day.